Mr. Ishak Nasir Al-Haq from ITB. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for your kind attention. Uh, my name is uh, Irshad Nasir Al-Haq. I would like to present a presentation about step of charge estimation of lithium ferrophosphate battery module using a support uh, vector valuation. Uh, first of all, this is the content introduction, experimental method, result and discussion, and then the conclusion. Uh, as you know that lithium uh, high capacity lithium ferrophosphate battery nowadays is uh, applicable for electric uh, vehicle and then renewable energy power plant and then for smart microgrid application for electric vehicle uh, the uh, necessity is high energy density and lightweight and then for renewable energy power plant maybe micro BTS and then for smart microgrid application is for high density uh, storage system uh, the problem is the characteristic of the battery or battery system are hard to predict uh, because of complexity of chemical and physical properties. Uh, improper charging and discharge uh, process uh, improper will decrease the battery performance and uh, maybe shorten the battery usage life. So it must be maintained in the safe operating area and then with proper utilization, so the battery module or the battery system or the battery cell will have a better performance and uh, longer use of life. One of the most important parameters is state of charge that illustrates the battery remaining capacity. Uh, it's important to monitor and maintain in their corresponding uh, working range. Uh, this is to avoid the uh, over discharge or overcharge uh, process. But the problem is it cannot be measured directly, so we can est estimate it using uh, voltage or electrical uh, current measurement. Uh, several methods to estimate uh, SOC. The uh, most common is column counting and then maybe common filter. Uh, black box application and uh, using neural network and then one of the innovative study is based on experimental uh, data set which all support factor regression that from uh, the reference uh, it will have a good performance for predicting uh, SOJ. Uh, before I jump to the super factor regression I would like to illustrate the uh, lithium battery. If we have a battery uh, in nominal capacity, full capacity. Uh, if we use the battery, there are some uh, state of charge that illustrate the battery remaining capacity, and then the tip of discharge uh, illustrate the usage capacity. And then, uh, if we uh, actually, if the battery lithium uh, we uh, empty the battery from factory uh, default or factory assembly there, there is some residual capacity uh, so if we have a nominal for 40 ampere hour actually it can go uh, maybe 41 42 and then if we want to operate this battery lithium in safe operating area so we will have a better performance so we have to use uh, this battery in this safety operating area from 0 to 100 uh, percent of state of charge if uh, below that, below 0 percent uh, call over discharge it will uh, damage the battery because of the integrity of cathode uh, the physical properties uh, it will be changed and then if we charge the battery and then uh, it overcharge uh, there in lithium battery there uh, will be a lithium crystallization a metal uh, it will reduce the capacity of the battery and also it will damage the battery but if we see this is the safety operating area but in real application sometimes 
the working area is only set uh, 20 to 80 percent. This is the real application from the reference. And then for the experimental method in our world, uh, first we use the lithium ferrophosphate battery for the ampere uh, hour. Uh, this is the cell. We arrange with uh, four uh, series, uh, nominal uh, voltage 12.84, implement uh, cell monitoring, and we use also battery management system for uh, cell monitoring and protection for our uh, previous work. Uh, this is the schematic of the BMS and measurement system. This is the battery module, uh, and then we also sense the voltage, uh, current, and uh, cell voltage, and the temperature. Uh, the BMS is already calibrated. This is the charger, this is the load, and for uh, data acquisition, we use a computer and Raspberry Pi to collect uh, the data. And for the super factor uh, regression, uh, uh, SVR is based on SVM, uh, often used for pattern recognition. The output of, of SVM can predict as a continuous value uh, for regression, uh, regression problem. The type of the SVM is called the SVR. The advantage, uh, the SVR can predict parameter equity. So, uh, it's simple to evaluate the manageable number of support vector. This means that the uh, computation is suitable for embedded system uh, based on the reference. Uh, in this uh, work, SVR is uh, used as learning tool to predict SOC uh, battery model. Uh, we use uh, uh, based on measurement discharge and charging, and then we use the uh, voltage and current measurement to generate the OCV uh, value which required to predict the value from the battery exchange. The main idea of, of SVR is to predict the output value of the FX which uh, from the input training data. This is the equation. The uh, problem is how to solve the optimization problem uh, with minimize the following general risk and then for the kernel function uh, usually we use radial basis function uh, the, pro uh, the, the problem in the SVR is the finding suitable value for loss function and then the epsilon which define the maximum tolerance of the SVR and then the uh, alpha which define the kernel uh, behavior uh, for the validation we use the root mean square uh, error and then for uh, this RMS, we target the RMSA is below 5% uh, for the SVR based on this uh, reference. This is the uh, estimation, SOC estimation procedure that we uh, propose. First, we initiate a step uh, for preparing the training data set. This one is preparing data set, so we collect battery. Uh, first, uh, we experiment using constant current to uh, C20, and then we uh, determine the training data set is uh, OCV, uh, FS OC based on uh, OCV, and then we determine the SVR uh, parameter. If the model fits its uh, reference and have acceptable RS RMSA, then the SVR model can use uh, directly to for uh, estimate for direct uh, voltage measurement. This is the result. Uh, first, we prepare the experiment discharge process as follow: uh, the average temperature 25.78, and then uh, because we assume the battery model is already used, uh, we we can see that uh, there are. Uh, uh, cell unbalance in this uh, experiment, we can see that battery cell number 4 is switched the cut of voltage in 22.5 volt. And we get the discharge capacity is 31.2 uh, compared to nominal, nominal value, so this battery already had a capacity failure. And then for uh, before we we 
uh, charge the battery, we have to uh, implement the rest time uh, about 120 minutes. This is the reference, uh, the standard reference. So the battery voltage will, will uh, go uh, to open circuit voltage. The charging process is the same. This is the average temperature. Uh, in the charging process, we can see that the battery number two uh, potential hit the cut off voltage in 3.65, uh, and the BMS stopped the, the charging process. From this uh, experiment, we get the charging capacity 32.5 maybe. Uh, after we see the cell, uh, we can see the relationship of uh, battery voltage to battery capacity. We can see that nearly linear in this area, outside this, those area is highly non-linear. And then for preparing the OCV SOC lookup table, we use the uh, SOC column counting for, uh, for uh, a discrete in discrete time where the charging process must uh, into account the respective column uh, efficiency. Sometimes, for application, uh, this, this, this column leak ef uh, efficiency is not implemented. So we can get the SOC reference from 22% to 100%. And this is the training data set, the whole training data set, charging period, we know that uh, 95.7% electricity supplied by external or source to battery can be stored and used. This is the SVR training data set. Uh, we average the potential value of each of every 1% of the SOC. And this is from the from the this OCV uh, model. We implement uh, as training data set and uh, the optimal SVR hyperparameter in this world, we can get the cost function is uh, 30 and the value is uh, 0.05 and the kernel parameter is 45 and then the SVR result, uh, curve fitting, uh, the best is from 37.5 to 90 which in real application, as I said before, uh, usually set from 20 for and 80 percent. So this SVR result should cover it. And then for the result, uh, we can see the error margin for uh, SVR estimated and to the reference. Uh, the maximum positive error is 4 percent also the negative error, so we can get the root mean square error 22.3% uh, for overall, overall, uh, for overall uh, voltage. This value is acceptable uh, based on this uh, reference. So for the conclusion, we in this research work, we already demonstrate successfully the SOC estimation using support factor regression for lithium ferrosat battery module with the estimator extract from the uh, OCV uh, SOC lookup table. The OCV estimation for based on the SVR curve fit perfectly uh, with the reference starting from 73, uh, 37.3% to uh, 90 which applicable for the MS implementation. The read mean square is 2.3% over the whole test, uh, which shows good uh, accuracy. From the analytical result, we also know the columnic efficiency is 95.7%, and we also uh, know the capacity fade 8.8 ampere hour already occurred, which uh, uh, when uh, the experiment were conducted, this, this capacity fade is important if we want to determine the next future work is to determine state of health. And for our future work, we would like to implement online SVR estimation into a BMS embedded system using library such as Sleep SVM and online SVR. And then to conduct SOHA estimation based on support uh, vector classification to classify health by considering capacity fade, life cycle, 
OCV uh, analysis and uh, the procedure using uh, electrical uh, vehicle standard. Thank you for the presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Uh,